All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the difference between a male and a female crab. Uh, one of the obvious things you can see here is that it's got these orange claws. Um, and the biggest thing is its apron, which is right here on its underbelly. Uh, here in Maryland, the easiest way to distinguish it because we're so close to Washington, D.C. is to look at it. And if you see the capital, you can see it looks like a dome uh, with a little uh, peak on the top. Kind of looks like the Capitol building. So that's how you can tell if it's female. So if you see the orange, the orange claws, um, my friend says they have painted nails. And then also their underbelly, as you can see, has uh, looks like the capital. So let me grab this male crab now. So you can see what that looks like. Hopefully I can grab both of these at the same time. Might be a bit challenging. He actually might be a keeper too. I don't know. Looking at him. Ha! Ah, he is a keeper. So let me step on this guy. And way to hold them securely, safely, is on their back fin. Show another video on that. But he's got like a. Alright, well, this male does not want to let go of my tongs right now. So, the way to tell if it's a male. As you can see here, he's got really blue claws, like on the tops and the tips. Hopefully you can see it in this camera. Try not to get my face clawed. And then again, because we're in Maryland, which is close to DC, if you look at the bottom, there he goes. Come on, Mr. Guy, don't get me. All right, so to tell the difference between a male, uh, you can see his claws are kind of blue. And see the female, they're not very blue. So you can tell by the blue claws. And then also, if you look at his apron underneath here, uh, it actually looks like, since we're in Maryland again, close to DC, it looks like the, um, the monument. So again, for the females, they've got orange claws. And then it looks like their apron looks like the uh, capital. And then the males have blue claws and the apron looks like the monument. So one of the crabs that I couldn't show you was an immature female, but I'll show a picture of it right here. Um, an immature female is actually a crab that has never spawned, so it's pretty important that we let those go so we can help sustain the population of crabs for the future. And then also in Maryland, you actually can't keep any female crabs at all as a recreational crabber anyways. But the easiest way to determine if it is an immature female is you'll see on the picture, the apron actually looks like a pyramid as opposed to like a mature female, which looks like a dome or the capital or a male crab that has a pencil type shape that looks like the Washington Monument. So um, that is actually what a immature female crab looks like. So just remember it has that pyramid shape for its apron. So that's how you tell the difference between a male and a female blue crab. So that's it for this short tidbit. Uh, I'm going to have uh, future ones like this, um, kind of going over different tackle and then, you know, different techniques I use. So um, stay tuned for those. Um, if there's anything you guys would like me to show you, um, just let me know in the uh, comment section below. All right, so we're going to let this female go because in Maryland, you cannot keep females as a recreational uh, crabber, so we're gonna let her go so she can produce more babies and we can have a nice sustaining population. This guy, I think, is actually a keeper. And he is actually, he is five and a half. So I almost threw this guy away. Um, I kind of want to, but I think my wife wants to eat crabs, so yeah.